I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. But it was during that time that I met a man. Someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together. But when it came time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. He was no use to you anymore. But he is of great use to me. You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? I'm simply doing what comes naturally, swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. We still have no idea who this guy is. You have got to be kidding me. Bray Wyatt has recruited Cole Quinn? Or whatever's left of him. Somehow, this just got even more personal. Gang up on Buzz! It's Finn Balor! The Demon King was not going to sit back and let this happen to Buzz! Bray has some kind of powerful mental hold on Cole. What does Kurt Angle have to do with any of this? It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere because your match will be taking place in a steel cage. Buzz is going to get a shot to even the score with Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match at Survivor Series. In just moments, ladies and gentlemen, we will have competitors locked inside steel. Don't go away. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against Bray Wyatt. The steel cage match is one of the oldest and most entertaining matches in all of the WWE. Let's do it. Frightening. 
What's it like being in the ring with this man? Psychologically baffling. Every time you think you figured out what Bray Wyatt's gonna do, Here we go, steel cage action kicking off here. And there are few things more unforgiving oh. than the cold steel of a cage match. Oh, nasty impact. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. What impact! Oh, <laughs> Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Inverted DDT! Big elbow. Oh yeah. my god, what an elbow! Bray Wyatt on the defensive, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Close line! Right in the back of the neck. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho. They continued to push the envelope and executed unbelievable attacks from the top of the cage. And watch Rikishi take flight off the top of the steel cage. Wow. No, look out! And he goes. That'll do it every time. Nailed it. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Now, Bray Wyatt with a sister Abigail. You have to like his chances here. Bray Wyatt might get an early three count. Bray Wyatt with the victory. These competitors are squaring off looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. Jeez. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Ow, nothing to worry about. What grace! Float over and DDT! Spiked him. DDT! Drop kick hits the mark! Wow! 
Bray Wyatt on the defensive. But he's very aware of who he's in there with yeah. and what he has to do to rebound. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, moment Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And a kick out. Not even close on that one. Could take more than that. I understand showboating is part of it, but Bray better not lose sight of what really matters. Ooh, what impact. Looks like he's starting to tire. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. Tremendous impact. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. What a beautiful technique. I'm not sure how much. Bones line. I think this is a big. Oh, what a boot to the face. Can he finish the job? Yeah, that move amazes me every time. Harsh impact. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. Things don't look good for Bray Wyatt. Got the leg hooked. This might be it. Oh, my. But he's got to capitalize now. That'll pretty much do it. Wait a second. That's Cole Quinn. So much for the cage preventing anyone from interfering. And it's two on one yet again. Here comes Finn Balor. This is exactly what Kurt Angle didn't want to happen. Too late now. Sister Abigail on Buzz. This time Two, Finn Balor three. can't help him. It's over. Bray Wyatt has managed to defeat Buzz in a steel cage match where all hell broke loose. Welcome back to Raw, where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite the battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me, too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon. At least, that's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. If it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. Uh, I don't know about this. You said you were willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. I thought a steel cage match was the best possible solution to settle the issues between you and Bray Wyatt, but obviously I was wrong. So I've decided that at the Royal Rumble, you and Finn Balor will take on Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn in an Extreme Rolls match. Do not express worry. I have made many successful jaunts to the multiverse. Or when exactly is it? The seven deities have deemed that the multiverse cannot be found on a map or in a calendar. Instead, it's all around us, all the time. Don't you remember from your last journey? Ah, oh, yes. On your previous visit, I believe your spirit was held in the vessel of an ostrich. Such a fantastic pheasant. Uh, 
since he's become woken, he's clearly accessed some hidden away dark places, which is exactly what you need to do if we're going to defeat Bray and rescue your friend. That's good. You can harness your fear to fuel your inner demon. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of our breakout talents against the Revival. I can barely sit still. Get ready, WWE Universe, it's Buzz! Introducing first, from Glasgow, Scotland. Did you guys see the WWE 24 episode about Buzz? I highly Bruce recommend it. Dickie. Yeah, you also highly recommend a sushi joint when we're in Topeka. men are in the ring and set to start things off here we're ready to go if you haven't hit record yet now Ouch. might be a good time to do that these guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again scott dawson says he is an innovator in the ring while still being old oh. school well oh, taking lessons from some of the greats like the minnesota wrecking crew scott dawson prides himself on being a ring general ah oh, jumpy ddt my Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, boom. Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Scott Dawson on the defensive here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Beautiful technique. inside the ring. Boom! Oh, what impact! He's so close to make... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Russian leg sweep. He's got the shoulders down. Kicks out in the nick of time. That's too early for that. Nailed it. He's not looking good here. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. There have been times in sports entertainment when... Oh, that's called making a statement, Cole. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. What's going to happen here? No, so no, don't do this. Oh, gosh. Sunset. Oh, oh. It. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. Oh, no, here we go. Dash Wilder sees it. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. We have our winners. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. These guys showed flashes in this match, but the flashes don't exactly set the world on fire. But these highlights show very well. Dominating tap out victory here. There's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent. Folks, you're just tuning in. This is one of the greatest tag team matches I've seen in years. Welcome to the multiverse. It's delightful, isn't it? This is amazing. There is even more to see if you open your mind and look to the cosmos. You will encounter the various vessels that we have existed in. Ah, yes. I was once a great Egyptian pharaoh in Giza. Unfortunately, that vessel met its demise from the bite of that wicked asp. 
Do you remember, Brother Buzz? You roamed about Antarctica centuries ago. Was I some kind of explorer? No, you were a polar bear. Oh, let me guess. I was a shark too. No, your vessel was eaten by a shark off the coast of Australia in the 1940s. How gruesome. What's that? I think it's the Blade of Baron. Good match, Van Gogh. It seems as if we've slipped into the current dimension. I am truly happy for you. I don't want to be here. Big things are happening for us. He is a soul most tortured who has lived many conflicted existences. Wakey, wakey. I said I don't want to be here. Make it stop. You must you face your fears to, to find your inner demon, you brother Buzz. Setbacks due to hallucinations. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad time. Uh, You're like a son to me. me. You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. I said to me. Stop. That's it. You did it. You're now ready to create your alter ego that will walk beside the Demon King. Yes! You are now ready to delete the consumer of terrestrial entities! Yes! Hey, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Bzzz. Wake up. I'm talking to you. Finn? Where have you been? I was in the multiverse with Matt Hardy finding my inner demon, just like you suggested. You've been gone for weeks. Weeks? Welcome back, Brother Buzz. I neglected to mention that the multiverse creates rifts in the Earth's time spectrum. What felt like 30 mortal minutes was indeed many weeks. Oh, God. But it was well worth it in your effort to make the vile Bray Wyatt obsolete. Weeks. You're probably a little out of sorts right now, but our big tag match versus Bray Wyatt and Cole is tonight. So you need to get your head on straight if we're going to defeat them and have any chance of helping Cole get out from under Bray's control. Don't worry, okay? I may have been gone for much longer than expected, but I found what I was looking for. And you'll be seeing it tonight. Weeks.
combined weight of 400 pounds, Willie Dickey and the Demon King, Finn Fowler. is a man who has sacrificed everything to be here today, even living in his van at times when he was on the Indies. Look, I know I'm not the biggest Buzz supporter, but even I have to admit, that's the definition of paying your dues. intensity level inside this arena right now. Not the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time. that's transpired between Buzz and Bray Wyatt the last few months, it's come down to this. An Extreme Rules Tag Match, where these four men are going to use everything at their disposal to tear each other apart. Let's not forget, despite Buzz's animosity for Bray Wyatt, he still wants to help Bray's partner, Cole Quinn. That has to have an impact on Buzz's performance in this match. Buzz is going to have to put that aside tonight, because if he doesn't, he'll never be able to beat Bray Wyatt, and Cole Quinn will be gone forever. I think he can. This is a side of Buzz like we've never seen before. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. And we continue. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. out. He's going to do it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Finn Balor. Big move coming. Is he done? Inside the ring now. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Ah, Bray Wyatt. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. He needs to capitalize. Bray Wyatt might get an early three count. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. Clearly not enough damage done. meaning 
to have a seat. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Momentum Man. is clearly not on his side here in this tornado tag team match. In a back and forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much oh. momentum here. The coup de grace is the type of finishing maneuver that pulverizes opponents. I'll never forget calling the action at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn when the Demon King leaped from the top of the ladder onto a battered Kevin Owens. Unfortunately, Saxton, you were there too. The Irishman has his Irish up. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Corey, the coup de grace is the perfect move. Drives his opponent down with a urinagi. That could be it, guys. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Hooked up. The kiss. Thunderous slam. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Now, Ray Wyatt needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Boy, does he ever. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Eludes that one. Oh, targeting the stomach. Dodges that one. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on... Oh, what a DDT! Wow. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Did you see the impact on that? We're gonna lock it in here. Here's the cover. One. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Too close for comfort. Ooh, what impact. Things are about as oh, direct impact to the chest. Without hinder your modlinger. Things are about as bad as they can possibly be right now for Finn Balor. Finn Balor really needs to dig ice. Neckbreaker. This is his opportunity to win this. His shoulders are down. He may get the three count right here. Oh, I think so. Bray Wyatt wins. After everything that's transpired between Buzz and Bray Wyatt the last few months, it's come down to this. An Extreme Rules tag match where these four men are going to use everything at their disposal to tear each other apart. Let's not forget, despite Buzz's animosity for Bray Wyatt, he still wants to help Bray's partner, Cole Quinn. That has to have an impact on Buzz's performance in this match. Buzz is going to have to put that aside tonight because if he doesn't, he'll never be able to beat Bray Wyatt. Cole, he goes for the cover. That wasn't even close to three. Not yet. Oh, targeting the stomach. Unceremoniously deposited down. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Oh. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Suplex. You've got to believe this one's over. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Boom, what a kick. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? That was nowhere near a three count. Remarkable. Oh boy, he is rolling. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. And an early kick out. Nice kick out there. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Incredible! 
There was a lot of force behind that one. Finn Balor was incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Got the leg hooked. Benjamin Driver. Good night. You have to like his penny predicament. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, what impact. Look at this. Drop kick. Beautiful. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? He gets it with a reversal. This could be huge. This might be it. Oh, my. What's he going to do with it? He's in control. Oh, here we go. Beautiful athleticism. Ooh, what impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. The Irishman has his Irish up. Nope. Reverses it. Boom. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. What is keeping Finn Balor in this match? Barely hanging in there. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. That has got to be it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Into the arm drag. Back in the ring again. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Not today. Beautiful athleticism. A breakneck speed. One of her at Toronto. This is where we'll find out if Demon Buzz is any different than the Buzz we're used to seeing. Can he dig deep and fight through this? Or was it all just... It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Inverted DDT! Fight! Here he... Oh, what a clothesline! Forcefully delivered. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's been... Nasty kick to the face. Can he finish the job? Oh, drives his opponent down with a urinagi. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. Now, Bray Wyatt needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Boy, does he ever. But what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Set it up. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Hooked him up. Vertical suplex. Nice. When this guy's on, look out. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Ooh. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? Shoulders on the back. One. Two. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Wow, I thought Bray was headed back to the compound there. Not yet, Saxton. Ooh, what an there. uppercut. Got the leg hooked. Here's his moment, Michael. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Lariat. Here he goes for the win. Two. Real close. Too close for cover. Yeah, barely. What a, what a clothesline. Ouch. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? Using the elbow as a weapon. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Outrageous athleticism on the hurricane run. Quietly, no superstar worth his salt ever does. 
Oh my God! Flipping pile driver spiked. Bringing it back into the ring. Looking for the finish. Look at Finn Balor making his move. Ooh-wee! 19, 16! That should do it. Do you hear that thud? Looking for all the glory here. Beautiful technique. He's looking at it. Oh, nasty impact. Now it's time to capitalize. Turn the features clean off your face. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. Ah, backdrop suplex. Finn Balor now. For the moment, Finn Balor seems to have found his groove. He's making a statement here with this attack. Reverses that one. This could be all she wrote. Putting it all on the line. Big time slam. Vicious. But he's running on fumes here. He's got him down. Is this it? And he breaks up the count. Oh boy, he is rolling. We know what this means. Nail it. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Got the leg hooked. Fisherman driver. Good night. This one is over. One, two. Oh, that was a close call. Wow, I thought Brett. Oh, 1916. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. He can end it here. He's got him. And he got a near fall out of it. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, my God. Flipping pile driver. Spike. His shoulders are down. Two. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Got the rehearsal. He might have it. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Showing off some of his speed there. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Got red suplex. Making it look easy. Expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. All right. Submission time. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? He has something big planned. He's in big trouble. Now with complete control. Look out here. He's in full control now. What's he got in mind? Oh, his feet are on the ropes. His feet are on the ropes. I expected as much from him tonight. He caught him slipping. What's he got in mind? He caught him slipping. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Incredible. When this guy's on, look out. Well, Finn Balor is Irish, and they're known for their gift of gab. <laughs> but can he follow up here? It's like deja vu all over again. That's how you wear down your opponent. Harsh impact. He's got him covered. One, two, and he kicks out. Wow, I thought he was a goner. How'd he do that? What a strike. And Finn Balor is larger than life out there. Now play Wyatt with a sister Abigail. 
Wyatt has to look to end this match right now. There's a pin now. One, two, and an ear fall. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Beautiful. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Harsh impact. Set it up. Torture your opponent's neck. I like it. Game, set, match. This one is over. Someone's going to be black and blue tomorrow. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Incoming! Oh, you break your crown. And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this! He's definitely tapped a power source. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. What a hurry. 19, 16. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Nobody gets up from that, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Boom, oh, impact. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Looking at it a second time. Beautiful DDT. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Things do not. This couldn't do it. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Well, what did you expect from an eater of worlds? He's going to battle you until the end. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Oh, oh. man. Inverted backbreaker. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Oh, kick to the face. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Nailed it. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Bauer looking to end it. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Oh, and he finds a way to escape. Wow. Cole, I think this entire arena had written him off. Myself included. Wait. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Counter here. Comes up big with the reversal. Ooh. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. One more look at it. Oof. This one's over, guys. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. Three. And that's the match. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe this. Who can forget this? He's getting it done here. He did it! It took channeling his inner demon to walk alongside the demon king, Finn Balor. But Buzz has finally defeated Bray Wyatt. But where does Cole Quinn stand in all of this now? It's over now, Cole. Bray never cared about you. But I do. Come with me. Everything will be okay. I'm sorry, Buzz. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all over. This is bigger than revenge. Buzz has seemingly rescued his friend Cole Quinn from Bray Wyatt's control.
Finn Balor doesn't just throw that gesture around to anyone. It's reminiscent of what we saw between Buzz and AJ Styles in Japan. But what does it mean? It means that Finn Balor and Buzz have formed a bond that won't soon be broken. Thank you. 